Hey guys, what's up? Smacknology HD here, and today we're going to have a great review on Pixelmator version 2.0 Chameleon from the website pixelmator.com. All the links in the description, as always, and also going to have a tutorial where I'm going to show you how to make this awesome wallpaper. Or, oh well, an awesome wallpaper just like mine right there, but taking the iMac part away because otherwise it would be a pretty long video. So without further ado, let's get right into this tutorial and review. Alright guys, so we're gonna start off by opening up the application. Go ahead and click on create new image. Preset custom with 1280 height 800 resolution 72 and if you don't know your resolution just go ahead and click here about this Mac more information and go down to graphics and displays and here it is the resolution guys your resolution that you want to um, put on the custom here okay so go ahead and click on OK if you're fine with it and let's get started. So basically you see this page right here and we're going to get started by um, opening up the finder and go to Macintosh HD library desktop pictures and I don't know if this works the same on Osh Lion. I know the Pixelmator part works on, on like every single thing but you know looking for the pictures I don't know if that works the same on Osh Lion for example. So you're going to drag it to the application and just let go and you will see that we get this okay. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, click on it, go ahead and type in like 65 around that, okay, okay, crop tool, okay, there we go, go ahead and select this part and let go, move it if you are not fine with it, okay, just click on enter, and there we go, alright, next up we're going to um, go ahead and click on image, hue and saturation, and go ahead and spin the wheels here and you will see that it changes the color since we're playing around with the hue and saturation okay so basically what we're gonna do is create this um maybe greenish or I don't know what color you guys like maybe um this looks pretty cool I think and yeah you can play around with um, the down part of well the saturation and the lightness okay um, just go ahead and put it, don't put it too much because it's gonna look horrible okay because it's you know you know how it looks okay so basically you, what you're gonna do is uh, leave it you can also put it gray if you go down okay but I prefer putting it a bit this way okay maybe lightness a bit lower or higher okay I'm actually gonna leave it there and once you're done you're gonna click on OK go up here to file export go to JPEG quality 100% since you want the best quality okay next choose the destination of the export export and now you can quit the application close the finder and here we have our finished image alright guys so this is basically how it looks if you put it as a wallpaper and I really think this is a great way of making easy wallpapers and also simple way of for example putting a wallpaper on your screen so that you can upload YouTube videos to actually monetize them because as you guys should know by now YouTube doesn't allow you to use any copyright so that you can't uh, use any pictures from other people and stuff so this is a great way of making a simple wallpaper it will not take you longer than five minutes and this application is on the Mac App Store in case you guys wanted to know so please check out pixelmator.com it's really great they also have some awesome tutorials on it with basically every single function on this application please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and follow me on twitter if you have some time and i guess i'll catch you guys later right here on macknowledge hd